my name is Donnie Sebastiani. I uh, live here in Sonoma, uh, where my great grandfather started Sebastiani Vineyards uh, around the turn of the last century on 1904. Uh, that winery is uh, 100 years old. My great grandfather started it. Uh, my grandfather, his youngest son, uh, grew it uh, quite large. And then my dad, my dad's generation, uh, ran that company for, uh, for 30 years. And then in 2001, my dad and myself and my brother started up Don Sebastiani and Sons. Uh, which uh, we make wine here in Sonoma, we make wine in Napa, we make wine all over the state of California, and we've been doing that now for, shoot, almost 14 years. I started working in different capacities for, for different family uh, wineries um, in, uh, pretty much right after I graduated, uh, and have done all sorts of different things, uh, and as a kid, obviously worked in the tasting room and worked in the maintenance shed, and uh, all the way up to now, uh, I run the company, I run Don Sebastiani and Sons for, uh, on behalf of the rest of my family. Uh, I oversee all the day-to-day -day, uh, winemaking, uh, marketing, sales, and everything in between. We make wines, we make 100 different types of wines under different brands and different varietals. Uh, our largest volume uh, brand is called Smoking Loon. It's pretty broadly distributed, widely available around the United States. Uh, all the way up to uh, we make fine Sonoma and Napa Reserve wines, including this wine that's going to be part of the uh, Santa Clara Wine Program. We're very excited to be part of the Santa Clara Wine Program. This wine in particular is a, actually a Napa Valley Cab uh, from 2009. Uh, it's, it is a, one of our uh, older reserve wines that we're very, very proud of. It's mostly Cabernet. One of the cool things is this wine sat in a barrel for 36 months, so you had three years of French oak aging. So you have a lot of concentration. When those wines are sitting in the barrel, there's a small amount of water that evaporates out because those barrels aren't completely watertight. And so when you get that evaporation, you get some concentration in the wine and you get a really, really dense, uh, inky, really tough to see through, really opaque colored wine. We blended in some Merlot for some mouthfeel and some Petit Syrah. Petit Syrah is a, it's a really, really black, inky grape that is uh, adds a lot of mouthfeel, adds a lot of tannin, that, that, that uh, grabbing the feel you get on your tongue. That's something you like to have when you're enjoying a meal. It helps kind of cleanse the palate after you have a big plate of pasta or steak. So a little Merlot and a little Petit Sauvage to round out the Cabernet makes it a really, really unique, really special wine for us. Once a Bronco, always a Bronco.